Hey guys, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota, downtown Nashville, uh, with your Toyota trim level series, your TTLS. Uh, once again, I am master certified in everything Toyota. I am a sales society winner with Toyota, a product trainer here at Beeman, and a mentor as well. Uh, so I am definitely qualified to tell you about our product. I wanted to show you here, this is the 4Runner. I was going to go ahead and start uh, with the SR5 in the 4Runner. Um, so if you take a look here, I'm going to show you first off, you can tell the front end. Uh, there are some variations to how the front end looks, depending on what you're looking at. This is the most base level of the 4Runner. Uh, so this is where you enter. So everything from here, if you see it, it will be at least this on everything that is above this. So um, everything's got at least this when it comes to the 4Runner uh, on the way that it looks on the outside. I will show you something new for 2020. If you see this cover right here. It's a black car that goes over. Um, that is part of your safety sense system. So um, the Toyota safety sense, a little bit different on a 4Runner. Um, I'll post a link in the description so that you can see a little bit more about how um, the safety sense works. Um, but that is in most in most instances, the safety sense is actually behind the Toyota emblem on the front. On the 4Runner, they had to move it down so that it would properly function. Um, so it's a little bit lower on the front end for where that, uh, that little uh, radar sensor is right there. So um, now I will tell you too, uh, one other caveat on the safety sense is that on the 4Runner, the Tundra, the Tacoma, uh, I believe the Land Cruiser, and the Sequoia, I believe it is, um, they don't have the assist, meaning that uh, you'll have a lane departure, so it'll beep at you if you're out of your lane, but it won't actually bump you back in your lane. The other uh, Toyotas will have the ability to bump you back in your lane or to offer lane tracing. So um, you don't have lane tracing, you don't have the assist in the 4Runner. I wanted to make sure you definitely knew about that. So um, your 4Runner still has the 4.0 liter um, uh, engine that's in there it uh, produces 270 horsepower um, with a paired with the five-speed transmission um, on your four-wheel drive versions you'll have your downhill assist control um, which is really cool your hill start and downhill assist control uh, the downhill assist control what it does is it I'll show you the button on the inside it actually if you hit the button put it into first gear uh, for the vehicle it'll actually maintain three miles per hour um, going down a hill so um, I can show you the button is right there where it says DAC, that's downhill assist control. So um, that's how you would actually turn that on. So uh, kind of walking back here a little bit, I'm gonna show you a few things from the side here. You're gonna notice the interior. The SR5 has a cloth interior. Now your SR5 Premium will give you your leather interior and give you a sunroof. You're not gonna have a sunroof in your SR5. So you'd have to go up the next level in order to get the, uh, the sunroof or the leather interior. So. Um, but you are going to have your power seat and lumbar um, on the side. You're going to have your heated windshield wipers, which is a really cool option. All of your safety sense, like I said, your automatic high beams, your uh, dynamic radar cruise control. You'll have all of that. Uh, like I said, just missing the, uh, the help on the steering. Um, now, what I want to show you here is I'm going, to sh I'm going to grab the key here out of my pocket. We're going to walk inside. I'm going to show you first off, you can always tell if you have a 4x4 if you look right here that is the spot to tell if you have the 4x4 or not um, now some of them including the pro and the um the pro and your uh trd off-roads they'll actually have a stick there so it's not going to be um a like a dial like that is it's going to actually be a stick so um you definitely can uh um, you definitely might want to look at that to uh, to know what you have there. So um, if you're turning on your four wheel, you just you hit this button and you turn your four wheel to the next level and then push down in order to go into the the third level there. So definitely. So now I've got our key here. I'm going to go ahead and start us up and fire us up so you can see the new system here. You've got the Intune. 3.0 system here and you can hear that roar of the engine i'm also going to show you here while we're here the new dash so they have redesigned the dash in the forerunner um it definitely looks a lot better um it's just it, i don't know I, I just think it looks a lot better for us here so uh, kind of showing you how the the center screen there looks you can kind of go through different uh indicators including your digital speedometer that's on the most basic level you're gonna have Sirius satellite radio 
also on your most basic level. Now, this one has your upgraded radio system. Your basic radio system will not have the dynamic ra uh, navigation, um, but this one's an upgraded, so it actually has the um, navigation that's included on this one, or, or that's included in this system. Um, the other ones will uh, be able to do Scout GPS, will also have the ability uh, to do Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa. So all of them have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and and Alexa. So um, now looking, you can kind of see your, your gauges tend to look a little bit the same. Definitely the screen stands out over the 19s. Um, you can see how you, you can definitely change your radio uh, stations and all that right there. But all that does definitely stand out. Self-dimming mirror. Um, that's going to be a standard option in this particular vehicle. Um, so, yeah, definitely. So, um, you can kind of take a look. You can see how your uh, headlights work. Everything else uh, works down there. Um, or, sorry, your headlight, your um, lights up top here. Sorry, I hit that. There you go. There's your lights up top. So, you can see how those work. Sunglasses. You got room for your sunglasses, of course. Uh, you can put those up in there, too. So, um now they may have either all weather or carpeted floor mats. It just depends on uh, which one you uh, have that uh, has been ordered with that vehicle. Usually they don't order them without some type of mat. It's just kind of rare that uh, that uh, any of the dealerships would do that. So um, now you could, of course. Um, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to show you this side. You have your standard seat over here. Uh, just giving you a different view of the other side over here of course now i will show you your back seat back seat you have this right here is your egress so if somebody's in the back seat in the third row they can get out of this one um, your sr5 sr5 premium and your limiteds all offer third rows um, the uh, pros the um the pro the trd off-roads um, they do not offer ever a third row. So if you're looking for a third row, you'd have to know that. Um, you got your rear vents here. Uh, you have uh, your extra USB ports that are back here. So uh, you can take care of your back people. So, And you'll have three total in the in the Forerunner. Two, uh, one up front and two in the back. Your center console is pretty nice here. You can hit this button and get you a uh, spot for your drinks, of course. And that's standard on all of them, of course. You also have your ability right here. There's a little cut through, and that's how you can attach your child seat. It's actually pretty easy to put the child seat in on these, so you don't have to uh, really fight it like uh, like we had to in the old days. So now I'm going to open this. You'll never have a power up, power down uh, uh, rear tailgate in a Forerunner. Uh, you will not have blind spot monitor in any of them. So if those are your questions, those are answered. Um, you do have a towing package. That's here. Your spare tire is below the vehicle. Now you'll notice this right here, this height, that is your module for putting your third row in the vehicle. So if you get one without a third row, you're gonna gain about that four, four inches or so right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this mat out to just give you a better view. So now when we're doing the third row, you can see how your third row comes up. I'm gonna grab this handle, pull this up. Your third row is now up. This right here is to put down the headrest once you have your headrest up. And then you can obviously see you can put down the back like this. Now there is one extra step and I'll kind of come over here to show it to you. Your seat sits back here. So in order to pull the seat up, you have to actually pull this forward. It's usually a little bit easier to do from the front of the vehicle and then over on and i can't reach it from back here but over on the other side there's a little lever that you lift up that'll also retract this because you can't lay this down all the way without having that bottom retracted so uh, you definitely want to make sure that you do that and and i'll just go ahead and show it to you here while i'm right here um, pull this lever up and you see it's moved the seat it's allowed me to move up now i'm going to look down you can see this right here. Lift that up. That goes back in. Once you get that back in, now you can lower your seat. Now, I do have another video that I will also link to this that talks about third row or not on the Forerunner. Um, it's uh, definitely a good uh, good question to have um, for whether or not you need a Forerunner with a third row. 
So um, it's, uh, like I said, take a look at that video. I'll link that in the description as well. You'll also see here in the center, you have this right here. Sorry, let me look up. This right here can fold down uh, for a pass through or you know whatever you want it to be right there. If you're pushing something in the back, like a piece of wood or something like that, definitely help you that way. Um, or like I had one mother tell me, that's how she separates her kids. So they use that uh, center area there so that uh, the kids aren't allowed to put their hands over that center area into each other's seat, which I thought was a pretty cool uh, uh, way to use that actually. So um, we're also gonna look down here. You have your regular plug and your power port on this side. So that's a pretty nice option to have. You do have to have your vehicle running in order to use that. But uh, like I said, it's nice to know that it's there should you need it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this mat back here. So now if you have your all weather mats, it comes with this cargo mat. If you do your all weather mats, um, and if you're not using your third row, it definitely makes sense to have it in there. Um, the only thing that I would say is if you're um, using your third row, it might be better to leave that out. So you have your, uh, your holds here. So if you're a little bit shorter, you can actually grab these holds, come down, backup camera, of course, all of your forerunners will have a backup camera. Um, you can get things like blackouts for these. If you don't want the Chrome, you can have those be blacked out. Um, now your wheels, um, a lot of people ask about the wheels. These are the wheels on your SR5 and your SR5 Premium. There, if you see a different wheel, it's a different trim level. So um, you have two options for your off-road. You have two options for your Limiteds um, for which wheel you could have on there. But as for the SR5, SR5 Premium, this is the wheel that the factory will send with the vehicle. So um, definitely you can upgrade your wheels if you want to. There is an additional cost to that if you chose to do that, uh, but you can definitely do that. So I'm um, just trying to give you an overview on the SR5 4Runner with your Toyota trim level series. I am Steve Welch from even Toyota in downtown Nashville. Uh, if you're in the Nashville area, please let me know. I'm more than happy to uh, help you to find the perfect 4Runner, uh, perfect Camry, Tacoma, Tundra, whatever you're looking for. I'm more than happy to help you to do that. Um, definitely call the dealership or uh, or reach out to me. Um, but uh, hopefully this helps you to know the perfect 4Runner for you. Um, and like I said, I'll link a couple links in the description, give you a little bit more information on uh, Toyota Safety Sense on the third row, not third row, uh, and anything else that uh, might be uh, uh, pertinent to this 4Runner. So definitely, I hope you guys have a great day. It's a rainy one in Nashville, but have a great day. We're going to talk to you. I'll keep uh, posting these videos just as quick as I can for you. So I appreciate you guys asking me for them. So uh, hopefully I'm doing you right by uh, doing these the way that I'm doing them and giving you all the information on your next 4Runner. Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota, downtown Nashville. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.